What's up everybody? Welcome back to Bayou Bandit Charters. On today's video, we're going to show you the functions of the brand new Minkota Tarova Advanced GPS. We're going to show you how to operate all the buttons. It has some new features unlike any other Minkota trolling motor you've seen before. This is brand new for 2024. Nobody has got a YouTube video out on how to use this unit yet. I wanted to be the first one to share this information with y'all. If y'all find it helpful and informative, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. The Minkota Lynx had a color screen and it charged up like a cell phone and you didn't have the battery life that you needed to have. They went back to like the old style with the two AA batteries. You get a lot more run time. Uh, we back to an LED screen, which saves a lot on battery life as well. You pair your remote the same way you do any of the others, real simple. Just hit your pair button right there on the head of the trolling motor and go through and hit accept and agree and you are paired uh i do have the puck on this one right here you just hook it up that arrow points to the bow have it lined up even with the keel and it just goes to a 12 volt battery supply that's all you need to do with it all you do to pair it is you hit that blinking button right there hold it down Hit your pair button right here and it automatically pairs your puck to your new iPilot trolling motor. Once you do that, you'll have to go in two circles. I'll show you how to do that right now. Start here on your remote, go to the menu button, scroll down to motor settings over Go down to setup, calibration, hit your arrow over. Calibrate heading sensor, that's what we want to do. It says drive boat in two complete circles. That is what we're gonna do now. We're on circle one. It shows you the percentage of completion. All right, we have circle one complete, starting on circle number two. This is very user friendly, basically tells you everything that you need to do on this display screen. All right, we have completed that. Now we go to our menu button. We go down to offset heading sensor. Hit our arrow over. This aligns the motor up with the keel. That way it knows what direction the boat is headed. So we hit our start button and we have it straight even with the keel, just like that. And it's showing we have a 51 degree offset. So once we do that, we go down, we hit set, and that's it. We back out of everything. And after you hit set, you know you've got it right because it shows you right here on the display screen. That is the foot of your trolling motor and it orientates to how it's pointing. When you turn, it turns on your display screen. That's how you know you've got the keel offset the way it needs to be. All right, now that we have got our iPilot set up and paired with the remote and with the puck, we'll go over some of the features it has. 
Uh, spot lock is the same as it has always been. It's your little anchor button. Hit your spot lock and it automatically holds you in that position. It'll adjust the speed due to the wind and current, whatever it needs to do to hold you in that same exact spot. It uh, tells you you're in spot lock. Now, if you wanna jog five foot over either direction, all you gotta do is hit your button over and that's what it's doing now. It's moving you five foot over and repositioning in that spot. That hasn't changed. You want to turn your spot lock off, just hit your button again, and you're back in regular mode. The autopilot has changed. Instead of the north button you had on the old remotes, you've got this right here. And with this, all you got to do, just mash that button, and it is an autopilot locked course. Now I like using the locked course we're going to aim it right to that point just like that and it will do the rest it'll maintain that heading it'll adjust for your wind and your current whatever it needs to do to maintain that course hands-free fishing right the old style had what they called advanced and legacy mode this one is a little different right here as you can see it's got locked course which we are on now it uses the compass heading and gps data to correct for wind current and external forces to keep the boat in the attended course that's what i like using that's uh very similar to what the legacy mode was in the older trolling motors uh, you have locked heading course, which uses a compass heading to keep the motor pointed in the same compass direction. But the wind and current will blow you off track. You will still be headed in the same direction, but not on the same course. That's why I like using the locked course function. I plan on leaving it in the locked course because you stay more on that course line instead of the basic compass heading. All right new to 2024 this new advanced gps iPilot has what they call drift mode drift mode is your number one button right there at the bottom what it allows you to do is regardless see we've got some southeast wind blowing pretty strong this direction now if i want to go to that pole over there on that point i will point the trolling motor in that direction and hit drift mode what that will do regardless of wind and current it will compensate and go straight towards that pole let's demonstrate that now we are going to hit drift mode we are going to ang angle the trolling motor head in that direction right there and we're going to turn our speed up to about three now what you're seeing the trolling motor head changed but it's compensating for this wind but our direction of travel is going to be right over there to that point this is a very good feature if you're fishing across strong currents like in a river a really strong creek run if you're fishing a flat you got really strong wind that's all you've got to do point it in the direction you want to go hit drift mode and let it do the rest see it's pointing to that wind it's compensating for all that but our direction of course is heading over in that direction right where we aim now we can turn our speed up on our trolling motor and it will walk us right over there all right as you can see the trolling motor is doing its thing. It's compensating for this wind and we're headed in the direction that we told it to go to. Very, very good feature. We'll speed her up a little bit. It's showing your target speed, which is one miles an hour and it is holding that. It will change your spot prop speed up and down to maintain your target speed 
which is speed over ground. As you can see, we were way over there and it's doing its thing. We're going right to this point. So this, this acts like you put out a drift sock, but you can go any direction you want to, right? You, you don't have to drift with the wind. You can put it in drift mode, go any direction you want. Very, very nice feature. Hands-free fishing. Don't have to worry about anything. Set it, forget it. Heading right to that point. And as you can see, we went from that point over there over to our designated point that we had it set at for drift mode. Really, really cool, nice feature. To turn the drift mode off, you go into menu settings, one click, and then click over for cancel navigation. And your drift mode is now off. All right, now we're gonna talk about making a track. Now you can do this as you're fishing with the trolling motor. What I like to do is I like doing it with the outboard. It's a lot quicker, easier. This is an area I really like trout fishing down this shoreline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the boat at the right about the distance I want when I'm trout fishing. And I'm going to go to my remote and I'm going to hit button number three. And now I am recording a track. It says it right there on the screen and you've got a red dot. That means you are recording. So that's what I'm going to do now. This is a deeper creek run and it starts stepping up to about three foot. And that's a good place to target trout. Caught a lot of trout, got a lot of trout fishing videos catching trout along this creek run. Now I'll be able to fish it hands free and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down this shoreline. We are recording the track now. Once we get to the other end, we will show you how to retrace this track for hands free fishing. All right, we've come all the way down this shoreline from way up there around the bend. All we've got to do now to stop our track is hit the three button again and it asks us if we want to save or cancel. We want to save it. So it is number three. All right, so if we want to find that track and retrace that track, all we do is we hit the number two button, which is the go to, and we want to go down to eye tracks. Era over, there's number three right there. That's the one we want. We're 80 foot from the end of the last point of the track. So we go, we want to go to the start. It asks you if you want to go to the start of the track or the end of the track. So now it is going to take us to where I turned off record. That'll be the end of our track and that will be our starting point. It will take us hands free in this big headwind. You can adjust your speed however fast or slow you want to go, and it does the rest. So we can fish this whole shoreline way on up there around that bend where we started this track, hands free. Whatever speed you want to go, you can control your speed up or down, and it's hands free fishing. boat is doing its thing you do not have to worry about anything but your speed set your speed the way you want let it roll like i said before this is brand new for 2024 nobody has got a youtube video out on how to use this unit yet i wanted to be the first one to share this information with y'all if y'all find it helpful and informative smash that like button and subscribe to the channel we have hundreds of saltwater fishing videos along the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast. If y'all are in the market for one of these trolling motors, call Danny Rogers with Performance Fishing Electronics. I'll leave his website link down in the description below. Anything dealing with electronics, uh, power poles, units, trolling motors, props, anything he's got a huge website he offers free shipping all across 
the continental us cannot beat his customer service he knows the deal y'all ionic lithium batteries i've got all my ionic lithium batteries through performance fishing electronics as well as my power poles my trolling motors my kippawa props whatever you need give danny a call he's a great great guy hands free you cannot beat this we've got a good strong 12 mile an hour southeast wind it doesn't matter it's compensating for that keeping us right on this course that way you can spend your time fishing instead of running the boat it's like it's like having your own personal trolling motor operator with you very cool all right also new to 2024 these advanced gps trolling motors have a jog button on it if you're on your track like we are now and there's a big log floating down that you don't want to hit all you've got to do is just hit your direction over to go around that log let's say that log is floating down so we're going around that log all right we've just cleared that log we want to get back on our track see it says dodge i track paused so what we do we go to menu we go down once to resume navigation hit our arrow over and we're back on our track line very very nice all right if you want to exit from your track hit your menu button and scroll over to cancel navigation and we're not on our track anymore I know we've got a lot of wind, but that's a good day to show y'all all these features of this trolling motor. The last one we've got is cruise control. Now, the way I think of it, I think of it as the exact opposite of autopilot. Autopilot, you set your course and you control your speed. Well, with cruise control, you set your speed and then adjust your course. It will maintain the same speed this is speed over ground. Whether you're going in the current, sideways to the current, doesn't matter. If you're, if you're fishing an eddy and go out in a river channel where you've got current and you've got it in cruise control, the trolling motor will automatically speed up and maintain that speed over ground. We're gonna demonstrate that now. We're going sideways to the wind. We're gonna hit our cruise control button cruise control is on we've got the trolling motor on six and we've got our speed over ground at 1.5 miles an hour now all we're going to do is we're going to turn upwind and it automatically speeds your prop up to maintain that one point five speed over ground see it's on 10 now because it's trying to get to that 1.5 when it reaches that it'll start slowing down as you see there it is going to maintain that set speed over ground we're at prop at 7.5 to maintain that speed over ground so if you're trolling if you're trolling baits and you want a constant speed that works real good for the strike zone of that bait put it in cruise control and just adjust your course see we're our, we're maintaining 1.5 one, our target is 1.5 we're maintaining 1.6 which is pretty close at a speed of six now we'll turn sideways to the wind and you'll see that prop speed slow way down because we don't have the resistance of that wind. See, it's down to three right now. We go turn and go fully downwind with the wind pushing us. It drops down 
to a two on the prop speed. 1.5. Because it's, use, it's using the satellites to, and it knows what speed is the target speed and it'll maintain that course. Very, very cool trolling motor. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. That helps the YouTube algorithm push this video out to other people that's trying to learn how to use this new advanced gps i pilot new to 2024 and if you've got a passion for inshore saltwater fishing like i do join me every week on my adventures across the alabama and mississippi gulf coast thank y'all see y'all next week